Hi Sagittarius, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul Balance and this is your mid-month reading for May from around about the 15th to the 31st of May. Yeah, So it is a general reading, take from it what you will, leave the rest. If you want a personal reading with me, tune to your own energy and circumstances, the link is on this video and in the description box below. Don't forget I am doing a special this month so you can get a 30 minute reading with me for just $50. If you so choose, you know what to do, yeah? All right, so your mid-month reading is all about some specific guidance for the next two weeks, yeah? So first up, I'm going to be pulling you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. And let's see what you need to know, Sagittarius. Oh, we've had two just drop out for you then. Mm. You pulled Rhiannon, so... It's the Sorceress card, and it basically says that uh, you're a magical person. You create whatever you want it is in your life in terms of, it could be love and romance, any area of your life, yeah? Life path, life purpose. Oh, wow. If you're looking to create romance in your life, you've just pulled Guinevere, true love. Um, the universe is basically trying to send a great love to you if you're looking for love, yeah? Uh, or if you're with someone new and you're wondering if it's, they're the one. Well, hello. Hello, yeah. Um, yeah. If you've been manifesting for love, just know that the universe has heard you. It's been like for a few signs. I love this card. It's just one of my favorites. Uh, it's Artemis, the guardian. So basically, it's saying that you're divinely protected at this time, you and your loved ones, you know. So if you've been worrying about anything, Sagittarius, you don't need to, yeah? You don't need to. Oh, God. I say God because it's come out for just about every single sign, yeah, in the mid-month reading, past life. So I'm trying to get the lights very strong at the moment. I'm actually filming outside. Um, so it's the afternoon sun coming through. There is a lot of past life memories that are surfacing for people in terms of all-star signs. Um... I think I've recorded six readings so far, and this card has come out for just about every single one. Yeah, so not sure what's going on with the universe right now, but if you've got stuff coming up for you, just know that um, I'm going to have to say to you, Sagittarius, it's now actually you, it's the universe. So uh, allow the feelings, allow yourself to feel the feelings, but let them go, let them pass you by. Yeah. Particularly if it's old stuff about old relationships, yeah. Don't let it hold you back for that new love. Mm. And the way you're going to cope with that is to tap into your spirituality. Uh, create a sacred space at home if you haven't already. Or get in touch with nature or a place that you feel divinely connected to. Put your cares and your worries out there to uh, spirit, yeah. Release them. All right. Let's pull you some guidance from the Crystal Oracle deck, which will uh, let you know if there's anything you need to let go of. It's actually a healing crystal deck. All right. What does Sagittarius need to know? Under Rihanna Sorceress, you pulled Sunstone, Empowerment. So it's about standing in your power. It's about, I guess the Sorceress card, it's about manifesting. But manifestation alone is not going to get you too far in terms of your flow, your abundance flow, right? So you do have to take action and take the steps you're guided to take. But it's also about being strong, standing up for yourself coming from a place of empowerment, particularly around your goals and your dreams. Um, it's also about empowerment in love, yeah? So making sure that you're coming back from a place of wholeness to uh, have that great love relationship, yeah? And to have the confidence. Um, the message coming through is the confidence and feelings of self-worth is going to draw that relationship to you. Mm. Under true love, you've got forgiveness. So it's forgiveness for self, yeah? It's just let go of the past. Let go of the past. Forgive yourself for it. Nothing you can do about it now. Let it go. Don't let it weigh on you anymore. Under Artemis Guardian, you've got flexibility, resilience. So the message overarching coming through to me right now is just trust in divine timing. 
in terms of your abundance flow. It's not going to happen when you think it's going to happen. Uh, and your guidance in terms of dealing with any old memory surfacing is to ground yourself. Yeah, just balance and ground yourself. If you don't know how to do that, uh, this is the first time you're watching one of my readings. Uh, you got the message here in terms of sacred space is one way. So taking that quiet time out for self just to release emotions, to quiet in your mind. You can also do it out in Mother Nature. Um, hey, connect with me on Instagram, right? Because I just moved down to the country. And when I say country, seaside. And I take the most amazing videos and shots of uh, my walks out in nature as well as some inspirational videos. Yeah, and some of them are in just like one minute snapshots. So you're not going to get them on any other channel apart from my Instagram channel. Um, and I share with you how to balance and ground yourself. Yeah. All right, let's pull you one more. Yeah. You've got case and I, new beginnings. Um still going through a period of transformation. New beginnings come up for a lot of signs in terms of uh, transformation, uh, particularly since March, right? A lot of signs have been going through it. I'm Pisces. I've been going through it for months now <laughs> since March. I'm like, when's it going to finish? Still transforming. Just know you've got new beginnings on the horizon. I have to say to you that it, a, lot, a lot of it is to do with new love coming in. Yeah. Let me know if that resonates with you. Okay, let's pull you some specific items from the uh, Energy Oracle deck. What does Sagittarius need to know? What is their guidance? Mm. Okay. So in terms of, uh, this is coming under Sorceress. Rihanna, all about uh, manifesting your goals and your dreams and your intentions, yeah, as well as empowerment, but it's strategy. It's about having a strategy about how you're going to achieve your goals and your dreams, particularly in terms of your career, your life path, life purpose, yeah. Taking the steps that you're guided to take. Double confirmation that you're a magical person in terms of creating the destiny you want to create. Yeah, you just pulled the magician in the mirror. So you have everything within you to create the life that you want to create as well as love, right? Because it's sitting under true love. So if you want that love relationship, you're ready. Um, in between true love and creating it is forgiveness for self. Yeah. In terms of your abundance flow, because this is sitting under Artemis Guardian, right? So if you've been worrying about your abundance flow and flexibility, you've got a bit of a storm warning. So I'm just going to say to you, the message coming through is that there might be a bit of anxiety about whether your finances are going to meet your needs this month, um, particularly in the next two weeks. Just know that there's going to be perhaps a bit of challenge, but you are divinely protected, yeah? It's probably not going to happen when you need it to happen, but just know that you're safe and protected. I'm going to pull you a clarifier. And storms always pass, yeah? It's just about it's about getting through them. Um, okay. Interesting. The clarifier is about love and romance. You pulled the man holding a heart card. So, for girls, there could be a little bit of turbulence in your love life. Um... But it's also about opening up to new love. You might have a couple of options on the go, not quite sure which one to choose. Uh, I'm talking to the girls now that are Sagittarians, yeah. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. Um, so I'm going to say if you're juggling two storm warning, you're going to get caught out, right, in terms of possible getting caught out. So be true to your heart and be uh, honest, honest with people around you that are in your love life right now. Um, don't repeat old patterns. Yeah, for the girls. Um, it can all be also be because the fact you've got past life, you need to ground yourself. When you're letting new love in, there could be some old behaviours that start surfacing. You need to be consciously aware of them. Um, and to make sure they don't affect the new relationship. 
for guys, I think the storm warning here in terms of this is one, you're ready for love, but again, there could be some stuff coming up for you in terms of feelings about letting go of past relationships that you might still be pining for a bit. Is the message coming through to just totally focus on that new love coming in? Yeah, love to hear your feedback. All right. You've got the yin and the yang card, which is all about cycles. Just know, to be honest with you, a lot of your reading is about being in the yang cycle, which is taking action, taking action towards love, taking action towards your goals and dreams. Um, it's sitting under past life and grounding yourself, so take action towards balancing your emotions this month. Be mindful of that. All right, let me hold these up for you. So you've got you've got nematoma, which is creating a sacred space and getting in touch with spirituality, right? Underneath that, you've got new beginnings, case and night. So gorgeous. When you tackle those new beginnings, whether it's love and romance or life purpose, life path, you've got the world at your feet. So in terms of love and romance, um, it's about when you come back to a place of balance and grounding yourself and being aware of the things that tripped you up in the past, letting go, cutting energy cords with people, looking for that new love. It's well, it's gonna come in, yeah, for sure. Um, you're gonna have quite a bit of choice, I'm gonna say. Um, but also new beginnings, life path, life purpose, following your dream, your heart space. Um the world awaits. Alright, let's pull you your crowning energy from the Kunyin deck. What is it Sagittarius needs to know? You've got turquoise lotus mother. So beautiful. And let's pull it up for you. All right, show it to you one more time. And what it says Sagittarius is the turquoise lotus mother brings you precious healing now. Allow yourself to be lifted out of your struggle, beloved one. An old pattern is finally in its death throes. Something that weighed heavily on you from the past. It can be one of the most testing times to allow something to go when it seems so demanding of your time, focus and attention. Yet do not doubt that you have actually learned the lessons required of you and you are now being blessed with an opportunity to receive karmic healing. There are some lessons in our spiritual growth that cut right to the core of our being, that challenge us so deeply that even when we learn the lessons and practice the wisdom, we can still struggle to outgrow the grip of the pattern. No matter how hard we try, we might not feel we're ever going to completely release the challenge, and no matter how much we grow, there is still a thread of the past that hangs on. Oh my God, it's so on point with your reading, yeah? We need a spiritual rescue remedy if we're ever going to be free of the clutches of this persistent pain. The compassionate and spiritually powerful nature of Ma Kun Yin as the turquoise lotus mother seeks to bless you now with karmic healing so that you may be lifted from your struggles and can simply leave them behind you now. Your soul has learned what it needed to learn from the situation and has asked for a divine hand up so that it might continue on its divine path of growth without unnecessary karmic weight pulling it down. Listen to your guidance now. Notice if you feel inspired to visit a healer, listen repeatedly to particular music or go to a class or meditate at home at a particular time or just more often. These are attempts by the Divine Mother to reach you through available channels divine blessings of karmic healing can flow through you from the spiritual world directly to your soul but oftentimes they are more effective when coming through a human channel of higher vibrational energy in the physical plane. Be as open as you can to the guidance to allow divine karmic healing of the turqu turquoise lotus mother to reach you. Her turquoise nature cleanses and protects your energy field and her lotus heart shines through your own heart bringing you peace. 
the Divine Mother within simply wishes to nurture you into greater spiritual freedom. This oracle also indicates that if you have been working with crystals, in particular turquoise, continue to do so because it is empowering you and helping you to heal whether you are completely conscious of it yet or not. And there's an affirmation in what it says, Sagittarius is, Beloved Kun Yin, Turquoise Lotus Mother, I now let go of any unhelpful pride or restrictive beliefs that would stop me from receiving the divine grace of karmic healing through you now. I ask that my soul be blessed and that I may receive the bestowal of grace to which I am spiritually entitled. With gratitude and love, I open my heart to you now. Om oh, Mani Padme Hum. Beautiful. All right. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Yeah. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, link is on this video and in the description box below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.